right, these guys, we have no triangles here, but let's see what's talk what we're talking about. We are talking about circle A, so that is the center. Um, I know that AB is equal to 3, and I know that AC is equal to 5, so I need to make sure I'm indicating the whole thing. And we do know that FE is tangent to circle A. So let's see. What I like is let's draw this line all the way out like that. And remember the radius at the point of tangency is 90 degrees. Um, and what am I even looking for? Let's see, I'm looking for DF and FE and DG. So um, first of all, this is 3, this portion right here. And the whole thing was 5. So then that means that is 2. So we've got that little part there. Um, it looks like I would need to draw in a nice little right triangle there. So remember, this is my big radius here. So that would be 5. So 3 and 5, this must be 4. So DF must be 4. And then FE, remember, if it's perpendicular and it's the diameter, that means it's also cutting it into two equal parts. So FE must be 8. So those would be our three answers. Let's go ahead and look at number 10 here. So first of all, it says that this is a tangent. So if I were to connect it to the radius, that would be 90 degrees at the point of tangent C. And if I were to connect that to the radius, that would be 90 degrees at the point of tangent C. And I know that this radius was 8. And I know that this radius was 10. And we're finding out this length here. Well, we're going to need to do some things. This whole thingamajigger here is equal to, what, 20, 30? And this is a nice little trapezoid, if you notice here. I've got 90 and 90, so that means that these guys are parallel. So I would need to draw in this nice little 90 uh, degrees here to create a perfect little rectangle here and a triangle here. Now, if this is 8, and I just drew this in nice perpendicular here, then that means that this is 8 here, and this is 2. And if you notice, mn is equal to this length from here to here. So if I can solve for this length in this nice little right triangle here, I can also solve for that one. So I've got my hypotenuse of my 30 squared, and I have my this little section here, 2 squared, and I am looking for mn, whoops, mn squared. So I do my little math here and 30 squared, oh that's not it, is 900. Good. So 900 minus 4, so 896 is equal to mn squared. I square root that. What is it? 896 I said? Square root of 896, just kidding, 896, there we go, good. So MN is equal to 29.93 for the answer. All right, let's do one more, flipping it over, number 11. So I have a circle of this radius of six meters is inscribed in a square. So it looks beautifully like that has a radius of 6, which means this whole length is what? What do you suppose? Hopefully that's what you chose. And it is a square. So we want to find the area of the what's inside the square but outside the circle. So essentially we're looking for all of this mess here, which is essentially the square, uh, 12 times 12, minus 36 pi. And this is the answer. You can just leave it just like that. That is exact. But if I did uh, multiply that and get my answer, I would get 39 approximately.